Okay, it's Wayne. I'm back again with a new uh, lesson for you, okay? Um, you know, the problem is you show up with a car and the question always becomes is, how do you know how close to get to the car so that the bed comes back and hits the tires and you don't have to readjust? So if I'm backing up to the Mustang that's behind us, um, is it when the headlights disappear? Well, if you do that, you may be too far away from the car. If it were an SUV and you waited till the headlights disappeared, we might be buying a grill in the car. So the point being is that you, it's not an exact science because, I mean, that's the one I hear most popular is wait till the headlights disappear. So what I'm gonna teach you is a way that if you've never towed before, if you follow what I'm gonna do right now, or what I'm gonna teach you, you'll be able to back up to your very first car, your very first day, and look like you've been towing for years. Little trick, first thing we're doing when we get in here, we're gonna fire a truck up, we're gonna roll the bed all the way back and put it on the ground. Then we're gonna go back to the Mustang. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the steps from the back of the bed to the tire. We're gonna count them. Then we're gonna go back to the Mustang and I'll show you how to mark it so that you know exactly where to be. So let's get this truck fired up and we'll go from here. There it goes. Always grab my gloves. I don't touch anything without having gloves on. So let's just recap the controls here. The first one rolls the bed back. Wait till the lever's in alignment. The second one is gonna tilt the bed. If you watch this ICC bumper back here, when it gets just about on the ground, we'll find out that when we roll the bed back, all the way back, it'll be right on the ground. It'll be really, really close. Okay, the bed's all the way out. So the point is, is that the bed's all the way back. So we now know that when we roll the bed back, it's gonna be right here. So we want the tire on any car that we tow to be right there. We want the bed to come back. Well, the distance between here and the tire that's on the truck is exact. So we'll start with the heel of my boot and we're just gonna take some steps. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven marks the center of the tire. Okay, we're gonna walk back here to the car. And the car's parked here, it's any car that we would be loading. So where do we want the bed? We want the bed right there, right there at the front of the tire. So we're gonna put my heel right there and we're gonna take our steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm gonna take my gloves and lay them right there because that's where I want the tire on the truck to be. So I can use my mirror on the side of the truck to watch these and when my tire gets to these gloves, I can stop. So now we're gonna do, we're gonna roll the bed back and we're gonna see how good I actually am. So let's go back up here, we're gonna roll the bed up. roll the window down here we're gonna shift it in reverse here we're gonna back up to the car we're gonna get lined up just like we normally would and then we're gonna watch in this mirror watch the tires of the truck until it gets right at that glove and I should be about right there it looks like okay so Get out. Uh, we could come back just a little bit more. 
Let me come back just a little bit more on my glove. <coughs> this is right there. I'm right on my glove. This mirror on this side of the truck isn't adjusted just quite right. I'm going to blame it on that. Okay, so now we backed up. We've given ourselves a marker with a set of gloves that we can see because if you look in a rearview mirror, the, the, the headlights went away a long time ago. So you can't even use the headlights on this car as a judgment. Let me turn the PTO back on again. There's a PTO kicks in. Now let's see how accurate this is. Roll the bed back again. First lever is your control to roll the bed back. Roll it back till it hits there. We can use the bed. We're going to tilt it. Actually, on this bed, it's a little bit off the ground where it's at. Let's roll it back and see how close we get. Um, I'm going to stop myself here. And I needed to put one step in here that I forgot about, and I apologize. So, I'm teaching you two things on this video. One is, is how to get it correct, and the other is how to stage your truck. So we talked about this earlier, if you'll come around the back here, Tom. So I'd stage my winch on the back. So I'm going to grab the winch right here with my hand. Again, it's not over there in the middle. It's right here. Grab the third winch back. And I'm going to run this winch out. Usually out to where my arm straightens. I take my wire, my chain, my Mr. V bridle. And what you're doing now is just staging the V-bridle across the back of the truck so it's ready to go. So now we're going to go ahead and we know where the bed the truck needed to be. We had gloves on the ground. Now we've staged our wire rope. It was The most important thing is that you weren't hyperextending your back. It was very easy to reach it, get it where you need to be. You can see where your chain's at. We're going to roll this bed out and put it on the ground and see how close we get to the front tires. Okay. There you go. I mean, we could do a little bit better than that. Might have been my steps were off a little bit. But the point is, is it gives you a point of reference to get the wheel and the tire and that right at together. So with just a little bit of practice and using your gloves, I often will look at cracks in the concrete or the cracks, anything I can use, a rock, a mark on the road, if I don't want to throw my gloves down. But the point is, is that you can get really, really close to the front of this car and look like you've been towing for years and years and years and do it right, do it the first time. So this kind of concludes this video of how to get up to the car. The next videos, we'll start loading cars and start getting into some more complex, kind of the fun stuff of we want to get ready to tow. But you can see their light goes into towing a lot more than just showing up. You got to get prepared first. And that's what we've tried to do today is get prepared to go towing. And now you know how to get right at the front of the car every single time, dead on it. So I'll catch you again on the next video.